to this YouTube channel. Today, I'm going to tell you how to create a webinar faux free. So if you've been a long time subscriber or fan of my content, you know that this was one of the very first pieces of content I ever put out. And it is in my ultimate tech guide for online entrepreneurs that's available on my website. But I wanted to break it out and give my YouTube audience and my blog post readers who don't already know how to do this, this really awesome, fun tip. So essentially there are a couple of ways now to do a webinar for free and one of them is with Facebook Live. So I actually told you how to create a Facebook Live webinar for free with the screen sharing capabilities and all of that in a previous video and blog post. So make sure if you're watching on YouTube you can click the description link below or if you're already here on the blog the link is in the blog post. But what we're going to talk about today is not a Facebook Live webinar how-to. It is using YouTube and Google Hangouts to create a free webinar. So there are services like GoToWebinar and Webinar Jam and Zoom and all of these things that allow you to create webinars and deliver webinars in their platform. But something you may not know is that a lot of them use YouTube and Google Hangouts to actually run their webinars. So there is a way to run webinars for free without having to pay for one of these services. Now, of course, those services can make things more streamlined and can make things a little easier to manage and to set up. But to be honest, this free way is actually really easy. So I'm going to run you through this in a screen share, but essentially all you need to get started is a YouTube account and a website. And it doesn't even have to be like a website website. You can be using lead pages or Divi or Instapage or something like that as well. You also need an email marketing system so you can gather everybody who signs up for your webinar and make sure you can communicate with them. But that's really all you need. And all of that can be free too. So you could get away with lots of free stuff here. All right, so I'm gonna teach you how to set all of it up for free and run a webinar for free right now. First and foremost, you do need a YouTube channel to do this. You don't have to have anything published to your channel um, or anything like that, but you do need a channel to do this. So if you've not set up a YouTube channel, definitely do that. Now, what you wanna do is go to your channel and then go to Video Manager. Once you're in here, you'll see over here this live streaming doodad. You will click down on that. Maybe. Okay. Now, instead of stream now, we want to go to events. And we want to create a new live event. So you'll give it whatever title you want. For a tech guide. And then you'll tell it you want to do it whenever. So let's say we're going to do it the 16th at 4 p.m. Um, and you can add an end time. You don't have to. You can also update this area here. This is just what defaults into my YouTube videos. Um, you can update this here. But I, you're not going to leave this public. So it doesn't, you know, those kind of things don't really matter. So now all you have to do is make this unlisted because you don't want the people who are, you only want the people who are registered to see it. You don't want the public to see it. So if you had it public, anybody could see it. Unlisted, it's only the people who are registered because you're going to send them to a specific page. So you'll leave it on quick. That's all you need. And then you'll create the event. Okay, so now I have this event created here. It is unlisted and it is just sort of hanging out ready for me to start on that date. Okay, so now what you want to do is you want to click on the title of it and you want to go here to, whoops, you want to go here to share and you want to get the embed code. Now, I have a subdomain where I host all of my workshops so that I don't sort of muddle up my primary domain with my workshops. Um, so I could go in here and create a new page. Um, this is just in my workshop subdomain. You can do this in your regular website. You can do this in the lead pages. You can do this wherever the heck you want to do it. So 
what you'll do is you'll go in and you'll create a new page or you'll edit an existing page, whatever you want to do. And I'm going to just create this new page here. Um, I'm using Divi to build my sales pages and things like that, but you'll do this in whatever way your site allows you. If it's literally just setting up a page and embedding a video, that is totally fine. No big deal. Um, for me, I'm going to use the Divi Builder and um, just say add in something I've saved in the library that is for the live workshop template. So again, you do not have to do this. Do not like stress. You can literally just put it in a page and put it in lead pages, whatever you want to do. Okay, so now this is just a template I have. So this is a different video I have in here. So what I want to do is go replace it with the, um, the video that I just got the embed code. So you do have to go into the text editor to do this. So um, make sure you're in the text editing part of your page, however you're doing it, whether it's with Divi or Squarespace or whatever, you need to be in the text editor to put in the code. So I've done that. Now with the chat box, I use a service called Chat Tango. Um, so what I'll do is I'll just go to chattango.com and it's Chat Tango with one T. So it's like Chat Tango. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to sign in. Um, if I can remember my username and password, that is. Okay, so this is my personal chat tango, and it's free, by the way, so don't stress about that. And what you want to do once you're logged in is you want to add a group chat to your web page. You can change the colors. So if I wanted it to be, um, you know, whatever color I wanted it to be, you can sort of pick your color here, um, however you want it to look. And then you can also, you know, pick whether you want it to be a ticker or um, tabs or whatever. But I like this box here. So I always pick that. Um, I always leave it on responsive so that it sort of fits whatever platform someone's viewing as. Um, and then, you know, that's really all I do there. I allow all of these things here. Um, I could round the corners if I wanted to. Um, I could show the URL. Um, sometimes I check that off. Sometimes I don't. It doesn't matter. Okay. So now that that's done, what you want to do is name it. So test, oh, sorry, um, webinar. And I'll just do something that I know is not taken and I'll create the group. So now it's going to give me an embed code for that chat box. So I'm going to go back into my test page and my embed code is going to go right here. So I'm in the text thing and I'm going to embed it right there and just hit OK. Now, I probably, you if you're using Divi, you won't be able to really see it until um, I update, but it will be there. And it will be blank until the event actually starts and people can actually start typing in it. <coughs> Excuse me. So, what you'll do now is I always put like what, I'm, what people are going to learn in the workshop, what offer I'm doing, etc. on my page, and then all I do is publish it. So, I'm going to go ahead and publish this page. So, so far guys, we have created a, an event, a live event in YouTube, and we have embedded it in a page. That's all we've done. There's literally nothing else to it. Now though, what we need to do, so um, the group was too small. That just meant that there's nobody there yet. No big deal. So don't worry about it. Um, so now what we need to do is grab the URL of this page. So you see that URL there. That's the URL you will send people to when they sign up. So from your sign up page, you will say, hey, sign up for this webinar. You'll have whatever form you have for somebody to sign up. And then you will have them get an email or go to a welcome page or something that has this link in it for the day of. Now, I don't give my link away until the actual day of the webinar. So when they've subscribed or signed up, 
they get a thank you email that just says, hey, like, thanks for signing up. Um, you'll get more info as we get closer to time. And then um, once, you know, once it's the day of the webinar, I send out another email that says, like, here, click here and join now. And they just get given this page. So it is literally that easy. I have a... Um, a sign up page already in the site. So all they have to do is click and sign up. No big deal. And then um, once they sign up, they're sent that first email that says, hey, thanks so much for signing up. I can't wait to, you know, have you in my webinar. And then, you know, last email is, hey, here's the link to join. So very, very easy. Now, once it's embedded and you've given everybody everything, you can also embed that same video in a replay page or just give them the live page. It doesn't matter. But to start your event, and I'm not going to start it because I don't need to do that, but I'll show you how. It is so very easy. You go back into your thing, back into your live streaming, back into your live streaming events, and you literally hit start hangout on air. When it comes up, it will be just you, and it will tell you that the broadcast is not live yet, and you have to hit the button to go live. Other than that, that is literally all you do. You hit this button, the window will come up to go live, just like it is here, and then I, hi, and then I can hit the um, button to actually go live once it's all loaded here. So I'm going to X out of that, and... That's it. Once the people are on the page you've created with the embed guide, then or the embedded video, then they'll be able to see it. Now, now, another thing you could do if you had no website and this just seems very crazy to you is just create the event and send them to that link on the day of the webinar. So you'll just send them to this link here. And so on the day of the webinar, you'll just send them that link and they'll go straight to this YouTube page and be able to chat with you over here yeah it really is that easy like wasn't that easy oh my gosh so don't leave here today without hitting subscribe because I don't want you to miss any other nerdy biz tips with me Jessica here on the hey Jessica channel and until next time bye